I wanted to pop in and check and see if you are having any errors with your 1099 mapping. So especially in desktop, I've been getting messages about like, why is my mapping grayed out and I can't change the box? I wanted to show you how to fix that. If we've never met before, hi, I'm Candice Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. So jump in and I'm gonna show you my screen. So let me switch over to my desktop version. There you go, you should be able to see it now. So why this is happening is probably because your mapping is done wrong on the other. So there's two forms, right? There's the 1099 NEC and the 1099 miscellaneous. So when we go under vendors, 1099 forms, and we click on print slash e-file, the way the behind the scenes of this all works is that you say yes here, and you go in and you have two forms. So if when you're going in and you click on get started and you walk through the process of doing your forms and you get to the screen and say you come down here and you're like, why can't I click? I need to change this job supplies to my 1099 NEC. So right, there's two different forms. There's the NEC, which is going to be your non-employee compensation, and then your miscellaneous, which is the original form that has your rent and all those things on it. So what you need to do is if you're in the 1099 NEC and you want to pick an account and it won't let you do this where it drops down like normal where you would pick that it's non-employee compensation like these ones down here that are grayed out that's because they're getting used on the miscellaneous form okay so two things one you want to always make sure you have like all your accounts if you're not seeing something that you need and then the real big thing that you want to do is you want to close out of this go back in and remove it from the miscellaneous mapping. So you can only map one account to either the 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 NEC. So if it's already grayed out, when you go to use it for the NEC, it's because it's used in the miscellaneous. So you wanna go in here, click get started, go in to that account that you're wanting to use that you see to the left, and you say, this I wanna omit. When you omit it here, then you can go find it inside the missile, um, the NEC. If you can't get it on the miscellaneous because it's linked in the NEC, then you want to omit it there. So you just have to know each of your expense categories, which form do you want it on. And if you can't get it on the other form, it's because it's already used by this one. Does that make sense? So just like in here, we're in the miscellaneous now, you can't change these because the NEC has picked them. You can only have one expense category, one account in QuickBooks linked to one form. Okay, so go in, omit it from the other form, save and close it, go back in and you'll see it's now available to be mapped on the NEC or the opposite. The same applies either direction that you're going. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you're going to come down here and you're like, I want job, let me go down a little bit that account that we were talking about was job supplies. Now you'll notice it's available to click because it was omitted in the 1099 miscellaneous. It's now available on the NEC. If you want it available on the miscellaneous and it's not clickable, then you need to omit it on the NEC. Only one account per form. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Go in and get your 1099s done. I wanted to give you this tip because today's the day, um, especially for your NEC forms. So let me know below if you have any other questions. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like this video. And if you have not followed us before, make sure you follow so you get all of our tips and tricks. I look forward to seeing you inside our next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being part of my community.